What's going on everyone? So for this video I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to download and install a Skyrim script extender and just go ahead and google SKSE. The first search result should be Skyrim script extender at skse.silverlock.org. So go ahead and click on that. And then on this page we want to look for the current build, whatever the version number is, usually it's just you know the latest. And we want to get the 7-zip archive here. If you're unfamiliar with what 7-zip is, it's a file compression program and you need to download that if you don't already have that installed so there's a link to that right here so yeah so just to download the SKSE archive we'll click this your browser should download it into your downloads folder and once it's downloaded let's go ahead and right click on it go to extract here and then open up that folder so in here is all the SKSE files and such and we want to copy everything except for the SRC folder. This is just a source code folder and you don't really need that unless you're a programmer. So yeah, once we got all these guys copied, let's go to our Skyrim folder. Mine is located in C, program files, times 86, Steam, Steam apps, comments, slash Skyrim. And then we're just gonna paste them right here. So I've already done that, so I don't really need to replace everything, but if this is your, your first installation of SKSE, um, you should not have to replace anything. If you're upgrading, you would just paste and replace all. So, yeah. And then once that's done, we're just going to make sure that the SKSE loader is here. And I like to make a shortcut to it. Um, just because if I'm starting it manually, then um, I'll have a shortcut to it that I can place on my desktop or whatever. But mod managers usually have a little shortcut to it already built inside, such as Marta Organizer or Nexus Mod Manager, as shown here. All right, so now let's go ahead and verify that it actually is working and it's there. Uh, but there is one more step before we do that, is to create a small inu file. So if there's not an SKSE folder, you'll need to create one. So create a new folder, name it to SKSE, open that up, and then create a new text document, and you'll name it skse.ini. And whoops, inside this, you want to put the following text, and I'll put this in the video description so it's easy for you guys to copy and paste it in. But basically, this will make the face paints look better. This does just some mod stuff, making sure that mods, ESPs work and such like that. And then this is just some memory fixes as well. And that is not by default in the installation, so you'll have to do that manually. And once you got that done, let's go ahead and go into our favorite mod organizer program and make sure that we got the SKSE for starting Skyrim and hit the run button. And now we're just going to make sure that the SKSE is, you know, the installed successfully, basically. So once you got this started up, let's go ahead and enter the game. All right, and to check to make sure that SKSE is installed successfully, you want to look into this bottom left corner of the main menu of Skyrim, and next to this Skyrim version number, there should be SKSE, and then whatever version you installed. So in this video, we installed 1.7.2, and uh, rel 47 just means it's release 47, so build order or whatever from them using Visual Studio. Anyways, that detail aside, we know that SKSE is working, so now we could use a lot of cool mods such as iHUD, um, Sky UI and more. And anyways, that's it for this video. I'll be sure to make more tutorial videos in the future, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, and see ya.